Hi everyone, welcome back to our new tutorial. Hope you guys are doing well. So today in this tutorial, we will be creating a Python project. And in this Python project, we will be creating an application using Python completely from scratch. And if you are a beginner and want to get started with app development, then I hope this tutorial will be really beneficial for you. And if you are thinking that for creating an app for iOS or for our Android, you need to learn C, C++, Objective-C, all of these languages but let me tell you for creating an app using python you don't need to learn all of these languages for creating an application using python we will need only one python module which is kv and if you don't know what is kv is let me tell you so here is the official website for our kv and here you can see that kv is actually open source python library for rapid deployment of applications that makes use of innovative user interface such as multi touch apps okay and here you can see that they are cross platform and we can use kv to run on linux windows os and then android ios and raspberry pi also so here you can see that if we learn kv we don't need to learn all of these languages for ios for android and for other platforms and in this tutorial i will be talking about only kv and we will create a simple application using kv and if you are a beginner then i will suggest you to don't skip any part of this video because everything is important for you and if you skip any part of this video then these things will be difficult for you to understand later so that's why i will recommend you to stay connected as long as this video and uh, i hope you will learn something new from this tutorial and in future i will be bringing more python projects and more python tutorials for you guys and also guys leave me a comment about your project what are you doing now what are you learning now and what are the projects you want to see in my channel in future and uh, let me know in my comment section so that i can bring some tutorials i can bring some projects i can bring some new projects about that topic also and i will really appreciate if you give me a suggestion if you give me a feedback about this tutorial in my comment section and guys i want you to find all of my tutorials and all of my python projects as soon as i upload in my channel so that's why please please subscribe this channel like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and guys if you can break the subscribe button destroy the subscribe button because i need that and uh, if you guys have any question about this tutorial about this project you can comment below so that's it guys let's get started Now first you have to open your favorite code editor and then from here you have to create a new project and for creating a new project I will be going to file and from here I have to select new project and then we have to give a project name so I will be giving my project name as first app that's it And now in this project we have to create a python file so for creating a python file we have to select the project name we have to select the project folder and then click write and then new and from here we have to select the python file and here i have to give a python file name so my python file name will be new app.py that's it so here you can see that we have our python file here and now from here first we have to install our kv in our project and the easiest way to install kv in my project in our project we have to go to our file and from here we have to select the setting and from this setting we have to go to our project so select the project from here and then go to our project interpreter and here you can see that we have a list of all of the installed python modules and then now we have to install another one which is kv so for installing the new module in our computer we have to select the plus sign from here and here we have to type the name of the python module we want to install so mine was is actually kv so here you can see that we have the kv in the first selected and i have already installed this in my computer so I don't want to install this again but you have to install this module in your computer so for installing this in your computer select the first one 
and uh, from here you have to click on this install package uh, and after a few minutes this module will be installed in your computer so now in my file first i have to import my kv so that's why we have to write import and then i want to import kv that's it and now we have to install some functions we have to install some properties from kv so that we can use this modules we can use these functions later on our code and here you can see that we are creating an app so that's why first we have to import the app module from our kv so that's why i will be right from kv dot so my module name will be app that's it and then import app so after this app now we have to import another function we have to add another library from kv and this will be grid layout because using this grid layout we will be creating our structure of our app so that's why we have to write from kv dot uix because it's actually a design based so that's why it will be uix and then we have to write grid layout and the import grid layout so after this grid layout now we have to write some things we have to give a specific name for our different sections for our different properties so that's why we have to give some labels here so that users can find these labels and understand the importance of this level so that's why i will be importing from kv and then it will be uh, also uix so that's why uix and then i will be importing level and then it will be level that's it so after this level now we have to import another module and it will be text input and this text input will be using so that user can type their information and we can get this information so that's why i will be adding from kv dot it will be also uix and then it will be text input and then it will be text input that's it i think we have imported all of our modules but we have to import another thing and it will be button because we will need a button so that user can type some buttons also in our application so that's why i will be adding from kv and it will be also uix and then now we have to add our button and then button that's it so guys here you can see that we have successfully imported all of our modules from our KB. So for creating an application we will be creating some classes, we will be creating some methods and uh, first I will create a class so that's why we have to create a class and then we have to give a class name. So actually inside this class I will be creating all of our app structure and all of our app function so that's why it will be our child because we have to run this child class into a parent class so that's why i will give a name of this class and the name of this class will be child app that's it and this child app will represent our grid layout because we will be using our grid layout for creating our structure and other stuff so after this grid layout now we have to define a method so that's why i will be adding diff and then now we have to give uh, initial and uh, this will be init and uh, by default it will be with self now I will add another argument here and uh, it will be a star star kw args kw args and uh, what is this a star a star kw args and if you don't know what is this kw args I will tell you this kw args will be used so that we can implement a lot of functions we can implement a lot of arguments so that's why this kw args used for to adding unlimited arguments okay so that's why we are using kw args here so after this one now we have to add a super here and uh, inside this super first we will be writing our class name and the class name is child app and this child app will represent our self also and then we will write in it now we have to define the structure of our app we have to define the columns of our app so for adding this one now first we have to add our self here and then we have to define our columns and uh, suppose i want to create a two column app so that's why i'm using two but if you want you can give three Four, five, six, as many as you want but for our initial stage it will be 2 and I will show you the difference of these numbers later but now it will be 2 
then we have to call ourselves again and then we have to add a widget here because level now we have to add our level so that users can understand what is this information what we have to give their information here so now level is a widget so that's why i am using add widget and here i will be adding a level here so now we have to call the level and this will be our first level and now we have to type a text here for this level so that's why it will be text and the name of this text will be suppose i am creating an app for a student details so now here we have to write a student name okay first i will get the student name so after this one now we have to call ourselves again and uh, now we have to store the student name into a variable so that's why i'm adding a variable and it will be s it means a student and it will be name okay so that we can store this student name into our this variable so for storing the value which means the student name into this variable user have to type their name okay so for including so for getting their information i will be adding our text input here that's it now user can actually type their name here into this text input and then now we have to add these two function one is our text and the one is our text input so for doing this we have to call our self again and then we have to call our add widget and our name our student name will be stored in our self dot s name here that's it so now here you can see that we have created one field here for our student name now i will create more so that user can type their student age and uh, their blood group also and we can add more functions we can add more levels here so for adding more levels and for adding more text input i will be just copy this one from here and then paste it here that's it and uh, now after our student name i will be taking our student marks so that's why it will be a student marks and then i want this student marks to stored in a different variable so that's why it will be a student marks and now we have to define this student marks here also a student marks that's it so after our student marks i want to get the student gender also so for adding this one i will be copy this one again and then paste it here and here it will be a student gender and now i want this a student gender to be stored in a different variable and it will be a student gender here and then now we have to give this variable name here also that's it and for now i will be just adding these three levels here one is our student name our student marks and our student gender but if you want you can add more but for this tutorial i will be just adding these three now i have to run this application i want to see this functions this text input is working or not this levels is working or not so for doing this we have to now define our parent class so for creating our parent class now we have to define a class and then now we have to give a class name so our previous class name was child app now i want to give a parent app so that's why it will be parent app that's it and here it will be represent our app because we are creating our app so that's why it will be represent our from this app so now we have to run this app and then now we have to check this app is working or not so that's why we have to define a constructor here we have to define a method so that's why it will be defined and then we have to build our app so here it will be installed with ourselves so now we have to return here something and i will be return our child app which is here because our all functionalities is actually inside this child app so that's why we have to give our child app here we have to return our child app that's it so after this child app now we have to make sure that this app is actually building or this app is running inside our main function so that's why it will be if and then it will be name here and if our name equal to main that's it if our name is under in our main we have to run this app so that's why we have to define our parent class we have to define our parent class here and it will be parent app and then we have to give a run function because i want to run this so guys here you can see that i think our work is done here 
and then now I want to see this sections is working or not so now let's run this app click on this run and then run here and then now we have to select the name of our file and the guys here you can see that we have a UI representation here we have a structure here and here you can see that if I go to my code here here you can see that now we have two column here one is this one and another one is this one see we have two column here but if you want three so now let's change it to three and then now first we have to close this one and then now we have to run this again so here you can see that this is now taking three column okay and if you want to give this more column you can do that also but i think two column is actually looking good so that's why i will be giving column two now let's run this one again and here you can see that we have two columns and here is our labels here a student name and uh, now we have to type the student name here that's it here you can see that now we have our text input section also now we have our another level here for our student marks and then now i will add our marks which will be 78 and then we have to give our student gender also and this student gender will be the same male okay so guys here you can see that we have created our first app here this was really crazy guys and amazing also because here you can see that in a few minutes we have created our first app and if you are doing this for the first time then i think this this is amazing guys so now i want to give some functionalities to this app because whenever user will type their information here i want to save this information in my backend in my this python file like here in my terminal i want to save this functions i want to save these values from the user in the terminal here so for adding these functionalities we have to do one thing we have to create some functions we have to adding a button here also now here we have to create a button here so that we can click on that button and the values will be saved the values will be stored in our back end so that's why we have to again call our self and then we have to call and then we have to take a variable so the variable name will be press because this will be a button so that i am giving a meaningful variable name so it will be press and then we have to call our button and then inside this button we have to give a text here so that the user can understand that it is a button and the button name will be let's say click me that's it and whenever our user will click on this button i want to save the values from the user so that's why we have to create a function here so now we have to call our self again and then i'm calling our press variable name and then i have to bind this one and now we have to create an event because whenever people will click on this button it means what is people are doing people are clicking on this button so that's why we have to create an event and it will be on click that's it and then now we have to call our self and then we have to create a function but here i will just create a function name i will be creating a new function name and i will specify the works of this function in later of this code so here i am just adding a name of this function so the function name will be like our button name also so it will be click underscore me that's it and then now we have to add a widget here so that's why it will be add widget and then the add widget will be in our self dot press that's it guys so now here you can see that now we have created our button and inside this button we have a function now we have to specify the works of this function so for doing this here we have to define the name of this function name and the, the function name is actually click me here so i will just copy this name from here and then paste it here that's it and this function will be work inside our self and then i will give a instance also so now i want to save the values i want to save the student name i want to save the student marks i want to save the student gender here so i will be printing these values in my back end so that's why we have to add our print function and uh, here we have to write the sentence so so that i can understand so that you guys can understand what is happening in our back end so now i will be writing name of a student is 
and uh, the name of this student is actually uh, stored in our here you can see that we have a value we have a variable because the student name is uh, stored in our this variable so now we have to initialize this variable into our here also so now here i will be giving a plus and then we have to call our self dot s name because the name is stored in our s name and this is actually a text that's it guys so now i will copy this one from here and i paste it two times so our second one will be the marks and this marks is actually stored in our s mark variable here you can see that and then we have to print our student gender here so that's why it will be gender and this gender information is stored in our student gender variable so after these three values printed now i want a, a space i want a new line so that we can find a gap here so that's why i will be just printing a new line here that's it so now let's run this program and see our function our this function is working or not so now let's run this program here and here you can see that we have our app here and then we have a button also click me and then now i want you to focus on the input section and this button and they are this terminal let me increase the font size of this terminal so that you guys can see the values and then now here i will type our student name and it will be tag 2 etc and then we have to give a student marks and it will be 80 and then a student gender will be male that's it now if i click on this click me button i want these values to be stored in our to be showing in our this terminal now let's click on this click me button and the guys here you can see that nothing is happening i think we have an error in our code here okay guys here you can see that our function is not working because it will be on press okay not click it will be on press so that's why it will be press that's it now let's run this program again and uh, this let's increase the font size and uh, guys first i will give a name and the name will be tag 2 etc and the values will be 80 and the gender will be male and uh, now if i click on this click me button let's see what happens here you can see that i have our values here name of this student is tag 2 etc and the marks of the student is 80 and the gender of this student is male so guys here you can see that we gave a uh, values here and and uh, these values is now stored in our terminal now let's change these values and it will be place subscribe my so this is not a name guys this is just a request for you please guys subscribe this channel for more tutorial and for inspiring me so that i can bring a lot of projects like this one so that's why please subscribe this channel like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and now let's change the values of these marks also and it will be 55 and this will be female now let's click on this click me here you can see that we have our new values the name of this student is please subscribe my channel and the marks of this student is 55 and the gender of this student is female okay if any user leave all of this field empty now let's see what will happen so this field will be empty this field will be empty and this field will be also empty now if i click on this button and here you can see that we have no values inside these variables inside these sections here so guys here you can see that we have created our first application we have created our first app without using any other languages we just used a python module which is kv and guys this is just a beginner level app using kv in python and in future i will definitely bring some advanced tutorial on kv and i want to show you guys a different level of applications different level of app development using python using kv and other python modules and if you are a beginner then i hope you will be enjoying this tutorial and i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial and that's it guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you really do then please please subscribe break this subscribe button destroy this subscribe button give a like to this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and if you guys have any question about this video please leave a comment and also please tell me what are you learning now 
what kind of projects you are doing now so that I can bring a project, I can bring some tutorials on that topic also. So that's it guys, let's see you in our next tutorial.